dear students now let us consider effect of pressure on melting point of water ice melts at 0 degree centigrade under normal atmospheric pressure what happens if pressure is increased see this is unlike boiling point in case of boiling point when pressure increased the boiling point also increased but here when pressure is increased melting point is getting decreased and when pressure decreased melting point is getting increased so there is inverse proportionality between pressure and melting point and here on pressure scale suppose pressure is increased from one atmosphere to 1.0 to atmosphere then its melting point changes from 0 degrees to minus 2 degree centigrade so in this way the melting point is lowered uh, when pressure is increased uh, now uh, coming to the application part in our daily life uh, there are several applications uh, based on this concept and i have attached a video uh, on that and uh, skating is one among those uh, see when we are skating on ice see uh, there is atmosphere on ice area and the ice area is under normal atmospheric pressure whereas uh, the ice under your feet it is under extra pressure because your body weight is falling on that uh, so in that place uh, since the pressure is increased uh, melting point decreases and therefore uh, the ice melts into water uh, and the water droplets uh, and the water droplets behave like <coughs> ball bearings and help you um, skate on the ice now let us consider a phenomenon called resolution uh, here you can see in the diagram a nice block is placed on two wooden blocks and over that a metal wire is passing over the surface of the uh, ice block and to its uh, both ends uh, some weights are attached so that uh, some pressure is exerted uh, on the ice block where the wire touches the ice block uh, then when we place the weights with wire on the ice block like this what happens uh, see the wire since the wire exerts pressure on the ice block under the wire uh, since there is increase of pressure melting point decreases so there ice is converted into water ice is converted into water uh, so that that uh, that um, wire gets down soon wire gets down now the um, molten water will be under normal atmospheric pressure therefore again it is converted into ice uh, so in this way uh, the ice under wire because of increased pressure melts into water and allows the wire to pass through the ice block and soon uh, the wire comes down the upper part because of normal atmospheric pressure is converted again into ice this phenomenon of refreezing is called resolution you might have seen the ice ball vendor preparing ice balls for that first an ice slab is shredded then this shredded ice is pressurized around the tip of a stick to prepare the ice ball. But have you wondered, how does the shredded ice get converted into a solid ice ball? If two small pieces of ice are taken and pressed against each other for a while, they stick to each other. Why does this happen? Come, let us understand the reason behind this by performing an activity. 
activity. Let us first take two pieces of ice. Now press them against each other for a while. Let us now slowly release the pressure from one of the pieces of ice. What do we observe? When the pieces of ice are pressed against each other, the melting point of ice is lowered due to the increased pressure on the surfaces of the pieces of ice. As the melting point is lowered, the ice melts at the surfaces which are pressed against each other and a layer of water gets formed there. When we release the pressure after some time, the melting point increases to normal and water formed at their surfaces gets converted to ice. Thus, the two pieces of ice fuse and stick together firmly. The phenomenon in which the ice converts to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called regelation. From this activity, we understand the reason behind sticking of the ice pieces together. Come, let us understand more about regelation by performing one more activity. Activity To perform this activity, we require two weights having identical mass, a thin metal wire and a slab of ice. Let us first keep the ice slab on the two wooden blocks. Now, tie the two weights to the two ends of a metal wire. Let us now put the wire on the slab such that each weight is on the either side of the slab. Now observe what happens. What do we observe? Mm. The wire gradually penetrates the ice slab. After some time, the wire comes out from the lower surface of the ice slab. However, the ice slab does not break. How is that possible? The wire exerts pressure on the ice slab due to the weights suspended at the ends of the wire. We have already studied that ice melts at low temperature when external pressure is applied. Therefore, when the weights are suspended, the melting point of the ice is below zero degrees Celsius. Hence, the ice below the wire changes into water. As the wire moves down, the pressure above the wire is lowered and water at zero degrees Celsius freezes into ice again. The ice below the wire continues to melt because of the pressure exerted by weights and therefore it melts into water and thus the wire moves down further. When the wire goes down, the water freezes again into ice. Melting of ice below the wire into water and freezing of water above the wire into ice continues as the wire moves down the block. Therefore, the block does not break. It remains intact. Now that we have studied about regelation, can you tell Let's take a look at the pressure-induced melting of ice. Here we have a tube of ice with a copper wire on top connecting two one kilogram weights. This results in an effective pressure on the ice of about 109 psi or seven atmospheres. The pressure from the weights causes the ice directly under the wire to melt. The copper wire conducts heat away from the system. So once the wire passes through and the pressure returns to one atmosphere, the water refreezes. can see at the end, when the wire has passed all the way through the ice, the 
ice tube is still intact.